This is part 8 of JavaScript with ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to automatically move the cursor from one text box to another using JavaScript. Let's understand this with an example. Let's say we have a web page like this to capture credit or debit card numbers. Usually, there are 16 digits in a credit or debit card number. On this page, we have got four text boxes. Each text box should allow four numbers. So once I type the first four numbers of the credit card into the first text box, we want to move the cursor automatically to the second text box. Look at this. Once I type the first three characters, the cursor is still blinking in the first text box. But the moment I type the fourth digit, look at what's going to happen to the cursor. It will be automatically moved to the second text box. Similarly, once we type the second four digits, the cursor will move to the third text box and from there it will move to the fourth text box. So let's see how to achieve this using JavaScript. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here I have an empty ASP.NET web application project to which I have added this web form. On this web form let's include this literal text card number and then let's drag and drop a text box control. Let's change the ID of the text box to txt1 and let's set the width of the text box to 50 pixels and let's set max length attribute to 4 because we only want to allow 4 digits. Let's make 3 more copies of this text box. Let's change the ID of the second text box to txt2 and third text box to txt3 and fourth text box to txt4. Now Let's include a section for JavaScript. Let's write a JavaScript function. Let's name this move cursor. And this function is going to have two parameters from text box and to text box. Let's create a variable. Let's name this length equals from text box dot value dot length. Let's create another variable. Let's name this max length equals from text box dot get attribute. So basically we want to read the max length attribute. So get attribute and the name of the attribute is max length. If length equals max length. Okay, so what are we telling with this condition? Now, the number of characters that are typed into this text box, for example, if the length is equal to max length, in this example, 4 then we want to move the cursor to the next text box. So if length equals max length, we want to set the focus to two text box. So document dot get element by ID and the ID is two text box dot call focus method which is going to set the keyboard focus to this two text box. And all that is left now is to call this JavaScript function on key up event. So on key up event of the first text box, we want to call this move cursor JavaScript function. And from text box is going to be, you know, the this txt1 text box itself. So I'm going to use this keyword and two text box is going to be txt2. Okay, so let's set this attribute for the second text box as well. So from the second text box we want to move the cursor to the third text box and from the third text box we want to move it to the fourth text box. And we don't have to set this um, you know, on key up attribute on the fourth text box because we don't want to move the text uh, cursor anywhere from the fourth text box automatically. 
so we are not going to call this function um, on the fourth text box so with all these changes let's go ahead and run this page and look at this the moment I type the first four digits the cursor automatically moves and similarly the second four digits and the third four digits and finally the fourth four digits thank you for listening and have a great day